Lumberjack jet-powered modular missile eyed as armament for XQ-58 Valkyrie drones. Imagine a small, fast, one-way attacker that can be carried inside a stealthy loyal wingman drone, launched from a safe standoff, loiter over a contested area, drop miniature precision munitions, and then, if necessary, finish the job itself. That's the capability Northrop Grumman is pitching with Lumberjack. And over the next several minutes, we'll unpack what this system really is, how it works with platforms like the XQ-58 Valkyrie, and why it may change how the Air Force and Allied Forces think about precision effects, attributable systems, and standoff suppression of enemy air defenses. At the headline level, Lumberjack is roughly the size and shape of a small diameter bomb, with a maximum gross weight around 290 pounds, and a core kit that, without fuel or payload, comes in at roughly 79 pounds thanks to composite construction. It's a jet-powered, modular, one-way attacker designed to be launcher agnostic, surface launched today, and being prepared for air launch next year from a variety of platforms, manned and unmanned alike. Crucially, Northrop Grumman is designing the vehicle to fit existing BRU bomb rack footprints, which means compatibility with anything that can carry an SDB-length store. One obvious candidate is Kratos' XQ-58 Valkyrie, a low-cost, loyal wingman unmanned aircraft that can carry at least two SDB-sized stores internally. Technically, Lumberjack is more than a flying warhead. It has a small jet engine, a modular center bay for kinetic or non-kinetic payloads, and the ability to dispense unpowered glide munitions like the hatchet. Hatchet itself is a small precision glide bomb of roughly 6 pounds with a 3 pound warhead and guidance options that include GPS INS and semi-active laser for engaging moving targets. Integrating hatchet or similar munitions into Lumberjack multiplies options. The parent vehicle can deliver multiple effects in a single sortie, standoff strikes, distributed submunitions, or even ISR and jamming packages for force protection and deception. Range and endurance are mission-dependent, driven by payload and fuel. Northrop says Lumberjack can reach several hundred nautical miles and cruise at about Mach 0.3, near 20,000 feet. Those are not theater-straddling cruise missile ranges, but paired with an aerial launch platform like the Valkyrie, the system's effective reach increases dramatically. Imagine a Valkyrie getting close enough to employ its own survivability and then launching lumberjacks that penetrate contested corridors to strike high-value targets or suppress integrated air defenses, keeping the crewed platforms further back. Operationally, the strongest rationale for lumberjack is mission flexibility at manageable cost. Northrop is explicit about low unit cost and producibility, weaning on commercial components and rapid manufacturing partners. They target a cost per effect in the ballpark of $75,000 to $100,000, figures that, if realized, undercut many legacy high-end missiles and make attributable mast effects plausible. Lumberjack's modular center bay means each airframe can perform multiple missions simply by swapping payloads, kinetic submunitions, electronic attack suites, sensors for persistent ISR, or even non-kinetic effects. That modularity and the Palantir-supplied AI ML backend for rapid payload integration and maintenance support signals a system designed for iterative fielding and fast changes in mission software and payload packages. From a tactical perspective, Lumberjack blurs categories. It sits between loitering munitions, cruise missiles, and expendable UAVs, capable of loitering to find time-sensitive targets, delivering precision submunitions, acting as a stand-in jammer or sensor node, or simply striking a target itself. This makes it attractive for suppression of enemy air defenses, SEED, where the goal is to force defensive systems to reveal themselves, be decoyed, or be neutralized. A swarm of lumberjacks launched from distributed platforms could complicate enemy engagement decisions, which contacts are real, which are decoys, which are jammers, and which are packaging for precision effects. But there are clear trade-offs and vulnerabilities. Because Lumberjack is intended to be low-cost and attritable, survivability is partly achieved through numbers and standoff, not armor or stealth. Advanced air defenses with layered sensors, integrated fires, and networked interceptors could still detect and engage these systems, especially if they are used in mass or without robust electronic protection. Electronic warfare and cyber attack on command and control and data links must be accounted for, 
If a local network is disrupted, the tactical value of remote loitering assets and dynamic retasking diminishes. Conversely, embedding stand-in jamming or decoy payloads inside Lumberjack may allow it to operate more effectively inside a defended area by degrading the defender's sensor fidelity. Logistics and employment concepts are shifting. If Lumberjacks can be shipped and palletized like SDBs, and each pallet delivers not just single strikes but multiple mission effects, force planners can rethink munition supply chains and sortie generation. The ability to recover some units for training would lower recurring costs, but the key advantage is the operational flexibility. A single airframe becomes an effect delivery node, a sensor, or an electronic attack asset, depending on the payload and mission package. There are legal and doctrinal implications too. These loitering one-way systems straddle definitions that doctrine and rules of engagement must embrace. Targeting fidelity, discrimination, Collateral risk modeling and battle damage assessment change when small warheads and distributed fires replace single large strike sorties. Command authorities will want strong assurance that dynamic targeting can comply with proportionality and positive identification requirements, especially if semi-autonomous targeting or AI-assisted retasking play a role. Pairing Lumberjack with Valkyrie is a logical step. Valkyrie provides a low-cost, survivable platform that can operate at the edge of contested airspace. Internal carriage reduces radar cross-section penalties and allows the launching platform to remain stealthy. Once launched, each lumberjack acts as a forward effect node, so a single launch aircraft could rapidly generate multiple simultaneous threats deep in the battle space. That's a compelling asymmetric option, distributed lethality that forces opponents to disperse or risk mass losses. Finally, the economic case matters. If Northrop and partners can hit the advertised cost metrics and get rapid, modular payload integration working in the field, Lumberjack could become a workhorse for future contested operations, particularly in roles where massed inexpensive precision effects and versatile sensors beat a small number of expensive high-end missiles. It's not a silver bullet, but it's a practical evolutionary step toward fightable, affordable, attritable systems that change how we think about force projection and risk. Lumberjack is a practical weaponization of a trend that's been obvious for several years. Smaller, cheaper, modular systems that can be launched from multiple platforms, loiter, and deliver precise effects. Paired with Valkyrie-class loyal wingmen, it promises to expand the tactical options for suppression, distributed fires, and battlefield sensing, so long as the program can balance cost, integration speed, survivability, and the hard work of putting doctrine and rules of engagement around a new class of weapon. Keep an eye on the upcoming flight tests. If the air launch demonstrations go as planned next year, what's experimental today could be doctrine forming tomorrow. If Northrop Grumman keeps to its test schedule, we may soon see Lumberjacks air launched from XQ-58s and other aircraft, demonstrations that could move this concept from experimental to doctrinal. Either way, Lumberjack and Valkyrie together point toward a future where distributed, affordable lethality becomes an integral part of air power planning.